Well, Frankfurt's the ideal motor show. It's one of the biggest motor shows in the world. Um, the Defender Concept DC100 is going to draw a huge amount of interest and reaction. And what better place than to do it at Frankfurt? The DC100 concept is exactly what it says, it's a concept. It points towards what a Defender could be in the future. We're very serious about replacing it. It's a car which is very versatile, very functional. It's clearly durable, it's abusable, it's usable. So no, it's not the replacement for the Defender, but it's pointing towards what it could be. We've committed to um, continue to produce the current Defender up until probably about 2015 um, and that's why we're talking about the new car, the new Defender, going into production probably 2015-2016. New Defender Volumes is an interesting question. The current car in its best ever year was 1970 where we sold 55 to 60,000 units. Certainly our plans for the new car have to be targeting that as an absolute minimum. So we would like to see at least 50 to 60,000 units for the new DC100 concept. Our thinking for the new Defender is absolutely this car will be a car for global markets. You know, Defender's whole background is about emerging markets. We've sold this car across the world in more than 100, 150 markets worldwide, the actual Defender is sold in. Certainly, as we are planning the successor for the current Defender, we are talking about global markets. And in that context, clearly, North America is a huge market. So we would like to see it going back to North America. Can't confirm anything right now, but absolutely, it's in our plans. I have to tell you, with the new Defender, we are absolutely going to continue selling to our core market, and that means it has to be an accessible car. Current car starts at about £20,000, €25,000. Um, you can expect to see this car starting at that price, if not below. The, the car is all about accessibility, it's about usability, it's about durability, and it's a car that's going to be um, good for the retail market as well as the commercial buyer. So absolutely, we will not be abandoning the current price points. Our plans for this car in the future, clearly we have to be CO2 uh, responsible. We're very, very focused um, across the business on lightweight manufacturing, on more efficient powertrains, on hybrid technologies, and that's absolutely part of our plans for this product as we move forward. So yes, you can expect to see hybrid solutions in this product when we bring it to market. The Defender concept absolutely lends itself to a whole range of derivatives. We're clearly showing the DC100, the 100 is 100 inch wheelbase. Um, we'll be talking about and, and considering all sorts of different concepts just as the current car has today. So we'll consider pickups, station wagons, vans, a whole host of opportunities and I think it's fairly clear that the, this product design lends itself to that. Well, you know, we've had a long-term relationship with the Red Cross. We've been involved with them since the 1950s, I think, originally. We've reinvigorated our relationship with them over the last three or four years. We've donated a lot of money and cars to them in supporting their activities, you know, helping vulnerable people um, across the world. And we just thought it was appropriate to um, celebrate our, our relationship with the Red Cross more importantly, however, we're going to be working with the Red Cross in developing this new product and ensuring that it's fit for purpose and will be fit for their usage. The DC100 Sport is a really exciting concept. Clearly it stretches the Defender envelope, um, probably to a more retail market, still really focusing on the functionality and the capability of the product. Takes its inspiration from one of the original products, a fold-down windscreen, open top uh, Defender way, way back 60 years ago, but certainly targeting a different market. And I think it just demonstrates how uh, flexible the concept, the Defender concept is, and we believe, we truly believe this can spawn a family of vehicles in the future.